Hello, everybody. Welcome to Broadway.com's Live at 5. It is Friday, February 28th. I'm Beth Stevens. I'm Paul Wontorek. It's almost March. It's almost March, but we have a leap day. Oh, it's confusing. Yeah, it's confusing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll talk about that maybe, but <laughs> we're in the studio with Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Who's saying hello to the people with her jazz hands. Do I see one of our favorite leading actresses over <gasps> across the camera? You do. Who's you here? See, you see the Tony-nominated yes. actress. Montego Glover yes. is here. Yes. She is starring off Broadway in all the Natalie Portmans. Come all of them. All of them. All the Natalie Portmans. But first, we're going to talk about our top five. We finally know when this leading man is going to be in the room where it happens. Hey, you're talking about Miguel Cervantes, who's a very uh, talented actor who was. Hamilton in the Chicago Company, opposite today's guest, Montego Glover, when she was hmm. in, in that cast over there. Angelica. So we knew he was coming to Broadway, but he didn't have an official start date, and now we know he's starting next week. Wow. March 3rd is his start date. Um, and currently, uh, Jimmy J.J. Jeter's been playing the role. I love that name. <laughs> um, and Miguel previously played it on tour. Uh, he, he's done a lot of great things. He was in If Then on Broadway. He was in American Idiot. He was in Putnam County Spelling Bee. Wasn't he also in that um, Michael John? Anyway, he's done a lot. Uh, what? He, what am I thinking of? Giant. He was in Giant. Oh, Michael John LaCusa. He was in Giant. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he's super talented, and we can't wait to welcome him to Broadway, back to Broadway next week. Mm -hmm. This recent Broadway play is heading to the big screen. It wasn't that long ago, but do you remember Inc.? I do remember Inc. Inc., all about the rise of the Sun newspaper. I'm not surprised Rupert by Murdoch. this news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So James Graham, the playwright, Tony nominee. Isn't he also a screenwriter? He's also a screenwriter. Like a, yeah, so it makes and sense. And guess what? What's He's going to write a screenplay for Inc. <laughs> because it's becoming a film. We don't have a lot of information about it. In fact, we have no information about it. <laughs> but it's happening. There's no director. There are no dates. But it's a great story. Bertie Carvel was also nominated for a Tony for that. Those are juicy roles. Those are juicy roles. James Graham also wrote Finding Neverland. Right. He wrote Quiz. He wrote Privacy. I like to pronounce it that way. <laughs> Yes, and these two creatives are teaming up once again for The Pillow Man. Now, you probably don't know this, but Beth and I love The Pillow Man. We love it. It's so creepy. It's <laughs> such a good, a good Madonna a good play. It was on Broadway 15 years ago. Oh, my God, I don't want to um, say that a year. 15 years ago, so no one else knows what we're talking about, but it's a really great <laughs> the play. Old, the olds know. I got, we got laughs from the studio audience. No one else knows. Um, <laughs> and, and it's finally getting done in London. I wonder what took so long. Anyway, it'll be at the Duke of York's Theater, uh, directed by Matthew Dunster, who is currently uh, directing Hangman, mm -hmm. Mark McDonough's newest play, yes. which starts on Broadway next week, or is it Very already started? Very soon. Anyway, so it's, it's in the mix. It's happening. Um, and so the, the Pillow Man will begin previews July 24th and open August 5th, and it will start Aaron Taylor Johnson and Steve <gasps> Pemberton. Are you clapping? Aaron Taylor Johnson. Who yeah, is that? Hey. He was in Mar he's a Marvel guy. Oh, okay. Marvel guy. Fantastic. I've seen the Michael Stuhl uh, <laughs> This is about a writer who is questioned by authorities about a spat, spate? What's a spate of murders? A spate. A spate. smattering. A spate Ooh. of murders. Yeah. <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday. That bears similarities to his short stories. It's uh -huh. creepy. And I hope it's, the production on Broadway was fantastic. I feel kind of chills right now. But I want to go see it. Okay, let's go. Well, okay. All right, cool. See you in London. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Great, and yes, we got some casting news for this upcoming off-Broadway show. Do you know what's exciting when what? there's a debut work in the world? And here we go. Sure. The New York debut work of playwright Dave Harris is called Exception to the Rule. Now we have casting. This is at Roundabout Underground. It opens on May 21st. It's directed by Miranda Heyman, Maya Boteng, Malik Childs, Tony Goins, Galen Kane, Claudia Logan, and Kaja Raquel will star in this play, which is set in a city high school where six students are stuck in room 111. Hmm. Wait for it. Wait for it. They flirt, fight, and tease, determining whether they should follow the rules and stay put or find an escape. Mm. I don't think it's like Breakfast Club. I think it's going to be a little bit different. It's like Escape Room, the, the play? <laughs> anyway, oh. right now at Roundabout Underground, you've got Darling Grenadine in there. Where's the Breakfast Club musical? I'm just saying. Hmm. That's I not related to this at all, but yes. yeah, there you go. And we got a new vlogger, and we're mm. going back to The Rock. We love Rachel Tucker. We like a lot of She's people. She's fantastic. <laughs> uh, and so she uh, is, of course, a very talented 
lady. She was an, a famously an alphabet famously. on Broadway. And then she did uh, Jen Kalala's role of oh. Beverly Bath originally mm -hmm. uh, in Come From Away when it opened in London and got an Olivier nomination because it's a great role. And now she's coming to do it on Broadway. So she will join the Broadway cast on March 3rd. Same night Miguel Cervantes is Tuesday. taking over the Royal Tuesday. Hamilton. Or Tuesday. Um, and so the vlog starts third. Yes. Is that also when day. she starts? Her first okay, day. so she first starts the third, and the vlog, which is called Back in the Sky. Now, this is, think about it, multiple, <laughs> multiple meanings layer. here. It's Beth also is a really lyric. clever with the titles. Okay, sure. She sings that song, Me in the Sky. And then she was also Alphaba Get in it? the Sky. Anyway, okay. for you wicked fans, a little nod. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, she was also in The Last Ship and The Pirate Queen, and it's going to be an eight-week vlog. Every Tuesday for eight weeks, you're going to love it. Yes. Also on the site, uh, hey, I went and saw the Frozen, new Frozen stars today at Sardi's for a little press event. NCR Renee, who is the new Elsa, is featured on the site today, and we have some great photos and yes. interview with her. What else, Beth? Black History Month. Which yeah. Which Montego Glover did participate in? We had Ben Vereen. Oh, we got yeah, we got who, the big guns. Who did he pick as his uh, inspiration? Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, uh, Golden Boy. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Where's so check the that Golden out. Boy revival? <laughs> <laughs> it is Friday, huh? We're just going through it. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, we also have Terrence, Wil Terrence Wilton, who is in The Woman in Black in London, okay. which has been playing for thirty years. Cool. Talking about that show. And James Cromwell got a Sardis caricature. He did. He's for Grand finished. Horizons. Grand Horizons has like another week, or mm -hmm. is this the final? Next, one more week, week, I think. Next yeah, week. Ish. No, this weekend. This really? Weekend. Yeah, the first. Oh. The first. Good to have you around, James Cromwell. Well, he'll Come be back, back in succession. You want. <laughs> That's what's important. <laughs> um, yeah, we got a lot of good things, and it's nice to see you. Okay, I'm getting out of here. That's my. That was my cue. That was your I'm gonna cue. pull a Nancy Pelosi. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Just mad about the Pillow Man in London. <laughs> All right, I'm well, <laughs> Have a thank good you, Paul. <laughs> Caitlin, will you tell us about our guest, please? Gladly. Yes, you guys, we got Tony nominee Montego Glover here with us today. He's going to talk about all the Natalie Portmans, not just one of them, all of them, which is the new show that just celebrated its opening night at the MCC Theater Space. She, yeah, of course, won, uh, earned a Tony nomination for her turn in Memphis, and her other Broadway credits include Les Mis, The Color Purple, It Should Have Been You. She was just in Hamilton in Chicago. She's been very busy, okay? Make sure you guys follow her at Matigo Glover on social media to stay up to date on all things that she's doing. Leave all of your questions in the comments down below. And please welcome Montego and Beth. Thank you, Caitlin. Yay! She says Glover. I say Glover. Glo you oh, say Glover. Glover. Like now him. she knows. I, I just have to let the people know. It's not about you, Caitlin. So just let, just you, Caitlin. letting everyone know. We're not mad. We're not upset. <laughs> Look at that. Look at her face. Glover. Glover. <laughs> I got it. Now it's going to be great in my mind forever. <laughs> you guys... Montego's in a play. She's not singing. Girl. Not singing. It is so dramatic. <laughs> it is so good, this play. Oh, so, thank you. this is a brand new play. You are originating this role for the yes. world. Yes. And you play Ovetta. Yes. Let's set it up for the people because this title <laughs> throws them off. I know. You're not playing Natalie Portman. I'm not. Any of them necessarily doing that no that's what i'll say okay um you know new play we refer to it frankly and the playwright does this uh, uh c.a johnson we refer to the play as a comedy um because there is so much hope and light in the given circumstances of this play and they are we meet a family who's fallen on a really rough place they've lost a member of their family mm -hmm. and the play really is about how everyone the mother her daughter and her son are dealing with that kind of loss and that kind of grief, but also finding new ways to be with each other now that they've lost someone who's very dear. Right, so that's the, that's what the play is actually about. Mm -hmm. But let's explain the title, because I think people are thrown. I really do. <laughs> the title is about what it is to find something or someone that you can reach for, relate to, aspire to, mm -hmm. um, live inside, fantasize about, be close to. And in this play, our main character has chosen Natalie Portman. And the main character is the daughter. Mm -hmm. You're the mother. Yes. You're going through it. <laughs> yeah. In this play, <laughs> you are going through a lot. And I look, you are a wonderful musical theater actor. Thank you. But to see you do something that I have not really seen you do. I know you've right. done, you did the Royale, you've done plays, sure. but this is like high drama, you guys. <laughs> It, it is funny, too. Yes. It is funny. Yes. There's a lot of laughter in the yes. audience, but you are crying your eyes out. You are 
dealing with a lot of things, dealing addiction with, uh, and, yes. and struggling and yes. being a parent. Yes, I say this very often about Oveta. She's very different from any woman I've ever played. Mm -hmm. And they've all had such incredible lives, emotional wells or a great deal of um, uh, voice, a lot to say, a lot to express. Hers is all of that, but different. There's a, a darkness about her mm -hmm. that I think is so magnetic. Um, and because I have the opportunity to really dive into those wells, it gives me the opportunity to really come out with so much heart. Yeah. Um, and I love that. It's not easy to do every night, but I'm built for speed. That's the kind of stuff I like, <laughs> do you know? How did you build this character? Were there some other mm. things that you had to do to sort of dig into those wells a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it, I'm helped tremendously by, <clears throat> excuse me, having uh, our playwright in the room. Sure. That's a wonderful thing, really. Um, and she's so gracious and generous with her work and extremely informative. Um, our director, Kate Worski, who's just crafted. She's just got an incredible gift for seeing what parts of the story need to be told first and how they should run in succession. Mm -hmm. And she's so great with actors in terms of language. That's great. Um, and starting with the script, the, the really the most important thing for me in terms of building Oveta was to start with what CA chose to write about her and what other people say about her mm -hmm. in the play. That was really the beginning. And then uh, like a drill going into the ground, <laughs> you just keep going and going and going and being unafraid to do that. It's gorgeous work. Thank it's gorgeous you. work. If you guys have a chance to see it, you've got until March 29th. Yes. Okay, we have to talk about Hamilton. Please. Please. Oh, no, sure. Oh, that little show. You just took off to Chicago. I actually saw you right before it was announced, and you yes. kept your mouth shut. You didn't did. say a I know. word. Oh, you oh, wanted I to was shake the furious. stuff out of me. Just shake it's okay. the stuff it out. It's all right. It's all right. I love you, Beth. You I know love it. you, too. We're, we're family. <laughs> we're family. But what a great opportunity. Terrific. So you were with, how long, how long were you there? A long time. A year and a half. And you're a New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker. You're based here. I'm I mean, I know, you're, I know you're not from here, but you're based here. <laughs> yeah, this is home. So what was yeah. that like to just pick up and go to another city for a year and a half? Oh, God, let me start by saying, if you're going to pick up and go somewhere, doing it to play Angelica Schuyler in Hamilton is a very good reason. That is so a very I good was, role. I was, yes. <laughs> I was helped by that. <laughs> um, two, Chicago's a terrific city. And frankly, I had never really spent any time there. I'd gone there to shoot things, commercials or, you know, spot, spot here or there on a TV show, whatever, but always in and out, always in and out. Mm -hmm. um, so being there with the show gave me an opportunity to get to know the second city. Yeah. which was great. Um, and every day I was getting to work on this incredible piece of art. Are you so, going to do it here? Uh, I won't tell you that if I were I mean, asked. She doesn't tell me anything. She doesn't I would, tell me anything. I would say no. I wouldn't necessarily she, say no. She wouldn't say no. <laughs> I'm going to just write that down. That down. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But what a great what a great job for you. I wish I had a chance to see oh, you. Oh, gosh. It. Terrific. She's incredible. I mean, Angelica is such an incredibly written piece. Thank you, Lynn. Um, an Thank incredibly you, Lynn. written piece. Thank you, Lynn. Um, incredibly written role. Um, and this the storytelling of that, the devices of Hamilton, the the culture of the oh, what's the word? What are the words? Like the the textures of the show are so rich. And what Lynn has put on the page for all of us, for every single person involved in storytelling, is so rich. It was I mean, it was a feast. Truly. The show and she were a feast. And now you're time. part of the juggernaut. And now <laughs> History has its eyes on you, Montego. <laughs> great and glorious gates. All right, I know that you all have questions mm -hmm. because it's Montego Glover, and you're going to ask me about Memphis and ask her about all the. D yeah, we know. So, okay, look at her. She's scrolling. All right, I am just waiting. All right, so the first question is Jake wants to know how is originating a role in a play like this different than originating the role of Felicia in Memphis since it's a musical? Yeah, so, know. did you approach it differently? Because you're both originating, but one's a play, one's a musical. You lived with Felicia for a long time. I did. We developed her for uh, easily six years. We developed that piece for six years before we arrived. So it was a long process. And I don't mean long as in labored and awful. I mean like the actual right years. Kind of, yes, yeah. yes, actual <laughs> years. And what was great about, honestly, developing Memphis in that way is that it gave us, I think, our creatives and our company an opportunity to grow as people and as artists. So every time we came back to it, we had more life to insert into the play. 
which I think deepened our roots on it, which is great. So the difference between developing a Memphis and, you know, and all the Natalie Portmans is interestingly enough the same when you approach it as an actor, but with the musical, you've got other cylinders you've got to fire on. You do need to hit some numbers mm -hmm. on a stage because there are <laughs> musical numbers. Um, you should be learning your music, you should be able to tell story through your music, and you have so many, in my opinion, in a musical, you have other um, devices that allow you to further express the character in a play, you have as many, but they're much more nuanced and they have to be contained in a way. It's not every actor that can go from a musical to a play. Okay. I, there might be different muscles. Do you feel that that's true? Yes, I do. Ultimately, you need a slightly different set to carry a musical only because the form requires it. Um, but one is no less valuable to me than the other. And frankly, I refer to musicals as plays all the time. Yeah. I'm going to go do the play. I mean Memphis. I'm going to go do the play. I mean Hamilton. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to go do the play. I mean all the Natalie Portman. <laughs> the real play. The, the real play. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Okay, so Mackenzie said that you honored Alvin Ailey and the Celebrity Black History Month thing that yes. we're doing. But did you have any at least any actresses of color that you really looked up to growing up or like who inspired you when you were in school and like just getting started? Oh, wow. That was yes. for our feature in case you didn't yes. know. Yes. Broadway.com has just asked a lot of our theater friends to tell us who inspired them. Yes. And you said Alvin Ailey. Yes, uh, and I, I wrote actually in that piece that there were so many, like mm -hmm. it's impossible to pick one. Yeah. There's so many. So I just, you know, closed my eyes and reached <laughs> up into the river. Do you know what I mean? Like, was there someone, someone, like who was on your wall? Who, who did you oh, look up to? Gosh, I looked up to the greats and the classics because as a kid, that's who I was watching, like old movies mm -hmm. and on, you know, public television, that kind of thing. So I would say, um, Lena Horne, I mm. would say um, <clears throat> uh, a Ruby D. Cool. Um, I would say Diane Carroll. So many. I would, you know, places, what I mean, yeah. these women who were like glamorous and beautiful, but also were were standing in places that I, I as a child watching them in old movies and old programs, knew that they were, you know, incredibly distinct. Mm -hmm. And then of course as I was coming of age, I was watching Fel I was watching Felicia Rashad mm -hmm. uh, be this woman that I was like, my God, she's like everybody's mom and she's the most magnificent thing I think I've ever seen. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah, those were the those were some of them, just a few, so many more. And that's just in acting. When you talk about dance and other areas, I've got a hundred more. Yeah. You know, we've been talking about you originating roles. Is there a classic role that you'd like to do or is there a a revival you'd like to do? I just ask him. <laughs> <I'm> just ask <asking. laughs> You know all, all of Shakespeare's women, I'd be happy to. Anyone. Just, er, all of them. Whether it's a witch or a queen a witch or, or whatever. Queen, yeah, okay. All of them. And the beautiful thing, in my opinion, about the theater is as you grow and grow up, there are roles for you to play in yes. all of the canons. So I love that. All of Shakespeare's women, I'm happy to take on. And you know what? My One of my secret dream roles, if I can share it with you, may I? Just, it's only us here. A secret, <laughs> secret dream role. I would love, I've always wanted to play Dot in Sunday in the Park. I know that's that absurd, that's but absurd. I just, just the life of her. Excuse us, we're all clutching our pearls. It would be lovely. <laughs> Let's just take a moment. You know, that would be, and just, you can sing the hell out of that. I would just love that. Just the opportunity to tell that story. Just the two of them, because to me it's about the two of them. You know? Oh yeah. I love that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Jessica says that because all the Natalie Portmans is obvious about Kiana's love and her muse is Natalie Portman, then the characters all come into life. If you had to have one of your favorite actors or muses come to life with all of their work, what would you want? Who would you want to be with? Wow. Who would, who would be Who my would be your Natalie? imaginary friend? Yeah, my, my other, my <laughs> extension. My yeah. extension. My extension self. Oh, now or then? That's the question. I Let's wonder. start with now. Now, so now. yeah, we want to know about oh, this wow. woman right mm. here. Mm. <laughs> mm. I think I would want to spend time. This is, I mean it, with Cicely Tyson, because I just feel like <clears throat> there's so much she could tell me and she could unlock in a way mm -hmm. that I think is amazing. And the fact that she's still with us and still working is so beautiful to me. Mm -hmm. um, so she would be one that I would probably. Just popping up unexpectedly <laughs> in your apartment. <laughs> From every possible, you know, in every possible one of that them. That might be a little scary, actually. You know, that's crazy. <laughs> and I think as a kid, um, it was probably, again, it was probably Felicia Rashad because I was tuning mm -hmm. in, you know, every Thursday and watching this whole world um, happen on the television, we all were, mm -hmm. and she would she would be amazing. 
It's, it's amazing now that she's You're just looking for the wisdom to pop up in your apartment. I know. I just, <laughs> I, honestly, wisdom and guidance. I need wisdom and guidance always. <laughs> I love it. I think it. we have time for one more question. Yes, All right. Same. So this is a good one. A lot of people have questions about this, actually. So Marianne says... Natalie Portman herself recently shared on Instagram about all the Natalie Portmans, <laughs> confirming that she is not involved, but she's happy <laughs> to have the show. Yes. How many p- times do people think Natalie Portman is in this show? <laughs> That's a good question. That's what I'm saying. It's, There's like misconception. It's a great title. It's a it catches it your eye. It captivates you. Yeah. I call it a sexy title. I think it yeah. is. Um, I think... Probably half the time, people think that Natalie is in some way, shape, or form involved. <laughs> involved, um, And, you know, it, I, I don't think it occurred probably to our playwright, and it certainly didn't occur to us that anyone would even put those two things together. Mm-hmm. I think the other half the time, truly, uh, I have people saying to me, so, the play is called All the Natalie Portmans. So, like, is everyone Natalie? Because <laughs> it's a five, six-hander. Do you know what right, I mean? Like, right. Is everyone Natalie? And I'm like, well, I don't know. Yeah. You interpret it how you want to interpret it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to think. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's how you'll feel when the play is over. I don't know. We are all Natalie Portman. We are all Natalie, Natalie Portman. Portman. <laughs> it's us. It is us. But it sounds like she gave her blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think, you know, we've worked very hard. I think we've been very uh, respectful of, you know, any namesakes or anything like mm-hmm. that. And very honest in the storytelling. Mm-hmm. Um, I think CA's writing is very honest. I think our approach from our director, from our actors, everyone involved have been very, very honest about the storytelling. We want to make sure we stay with that because it's... It's a terrific journey that I think you take with these people. Oh, yeah. And you don't know where it's going to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. At intermission, I was like, where's, what's, what's, what's going to happen with these people? <laughs> no, I'm really worried. Happen? Yeah. It's yeah. really great. But then you're, you know, you find moments, you're laughing, you're, you know, you're going on an adventure uh, with uh, Kiana and Natalie or Kiana and her brother. You're, you're, you're taking the journey with these people. I, I do this. love that some of the characters call Oveta Miss O. <laughs> She is Miss O. That's me. I, I get called that. that on stage and off. <laughs> Have you played a mother like this before? No, not like, like this. Seeing a different yeah. Fontaine is a mother. Yeah, do you know that's what I mean? True. She's like yes. oh, she's that space. Mm-hmm. But this mom is a different. She's a different. She's uh, interacting with her children in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna leave that right there for you to all figure out for yourselves. <laughs> You guys, go see all, I like to say it that way, all (laughs) of them, the Natalie Portmans at MCC. Thanks, Montego. Come back anytime. We love being with you. I love it. You're so kind to have me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Caitlin, my love, will you take us on out? (laughs) Gladly. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single weekday here on Facebook, and you can listen to us where we get your podcast by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in on Monday when we talk to Rob Rokiki all about his upcoming concert at Green Room 42 and a little show called The Lightning Thief. Have a great weekend.